Hi guys, welcome back to Ultima Garage. Uh, this is probably one of the last videos about the 2CV before a few months. If you have been following the channel, you'll know that I'll be traveling during the next few months. So before I left France, there was one last thing I wanted to do. I needed to store the 2CV in a way that it would not get damaged and uh, would be protected during the next four months at least. But in order to do that, I needed to reorganize my workshop completely because it had been closed for the past seven years that I'd been living in the UK and it was full with my old B12 and the new B12 body that I have for it. So to start with, I needed to reopen my workshop and get rid of the curtains of uh, spider webs that were pretty much everywhere, everywhere. Plus being summer and this place having been closed for so long, I was expecting to find a snake or two, but I was lucky on this side because I only found old skins of snakes, but not the actual snakes. Which is great because as far as I'm concerned, anything with less than two legs and more than four, I prefer to eat them first and then think after. Just kidding. Anyway, so as you can see in the pictures, one side of the workshop was full with the new B12 body and the other one had the old B12 body and its chassis plus another trailer that had restored uh, many years ago. Getting everything out of the workshop was relatively easy with the forklift, but getting the two B12 bodies back um, was uh, another story. Initially I wanted to sell the old body uh, to make some space, but I didn't have time so I reorganized everything so that uh, both bodies could fit on uh, one side and with my brother's help we put them in there, but it took us a whole afternoon to do that. With this reorganized and before I stored the 2CV I wanted to add spotlight ramps uh, in the workshop and a series of uh, British electric outlets since some of the tools I brought back are with the British plugs on them and I don't really want to modify them all. So I recovered the spotlight ramps from the fire at my business in the UK and I brought them back in the trailer with the rest of our stuff. So I just had to fit them um, because up until then either I worked only by day or I had a large fluorescent tube that is fitted on a wooden stick with a rheumatic fit uh, so that I can move it around. It's a great light but having spot, uh, spot right above the workbench is a real luxury. With this done, it was time to put the 2CV in. There wasn't much space uh, left, uh, that's for sure, but everything fitted just right and I could once again close my workshop just one month after having reopened it. Um, before I closed it down, I had to disconnect the battery, of course, uh, so that it wouldn't uh, be flat when I come back. And um, I just lifted the wipers uh, blades as well so that they don't get um, uh, dry against the windscreen. So now uh, it will have to wait at least four months before I uh, open the workshop again and take the 2CV out. I think I'm going to start by putting the 2CV back on its wheels uh, when I come back since the 2CV runs well and I will keep it as my daily driver while I'm in France and then I'll restore it once the B12 is running again. At least that's what I'm thinking right now but it can still change so we'll see how it goes. The fact that I closed my workshop doesn't mean that it's in the end of this channel of course, quite the opposite actually. I'm going to travel because I'm working on a new project that is classic car related so I will have plenty of things to share with you guys and hopefully a lot of cool cars to present you to. But I will keep uh, some of this as a surprise. For the time being I would like to thank you all for having followed me through all these 2CV videos. I will probably have more videos to show you with this car later. Um, I'll be coming back to France in winter, so with a bit of luck I'll be able to take it out in the snow and show you what a wonderful car uh, that is on the snow, but again, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, as always, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so yet, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, and feel free to contact me either via the comment section, or uh, you have all the ways to contact me in the description of this video right below. Thanks again for watching, stay tuned and drive safe!